I've got an idea to add yet another function to our Murphy bed couch dining room table idea for the trailer conversion to make our couch also a dresser. Sounds impossible, I know, but let's make a quick prototype before I even try and design it uh, so I don't waste my time. All right, so here's my little shop set up. Uh, what I'm gonna be testing out today is this dust deputy. This is a non-sponsored video. I just bought this on Amazon. And to be honest, I'm a little disappointed. It was $100 and you got two five gallon buckets and this thing and this hose. This by itself is 50. Uh, so it seems like you're paying 50 bucks for two buckets, some cheap Chinese casters, and I guess this little hose. But uh, I will try it out today. If it works, I'll keep it just to not have to deal with it. But for a hundred bucks, I'm pretty quick to return this if it doesn't work well. What does work really well is this thing here that I got on Amazon for 30 bucks as well. I'll leave a link to this because I know I like this. It's uh, DGC. Uh, basically you plug in your tool and your shop vac and whenever the tool powers on, it powers on the shop vac and then actually has a seven second delay that this continues running the vacuum until uh, you finish your cut. This is the thing we're gonna be making a box for. It's from a company called Rise Gear, I think. Also not sponsored. However, if you guys are watching, basically it's got two hooks and then you can hook this in a closet or in my case, the bottom of a couch cushion. Voila, shelves. So the plan is you lift up the couch cushion, you have all your shelves and clothes, close the couch cushion and it collapses down underneath the base of the couch. All right, I spared you the uh, step by step of screwing four pieces of wood together, but I've got a box now. Uh, I put a little hinge on the back. I want to put a gas shock on this just so I can get a feel for it. All right, now I've got one with a little aluminum angle on there. Maybe even lower, go down in there. Let's try that. All right, I just got a piece of dowel here. I'm gonna put it on a couple pieces of plywood like this. Screw that into there. All right, I think that's working pretty good. I have a lot of tweaks to make, but I need to get cleaned up out here. Okay, so that needs to go further back. Okay, it's a bit of a balancing act between having it clear the front when you close and also clearing the back here. If you move this too far back, this wants to lift up that way. But this is pretty level, clears the front, opens up real nice. I am very happy with that. I want to show it to Lauren now. All right, slight little problem. My shocks are only five pound shocks, so they're not enough spring in them to hold up all of my clothes. Things got a little janky there towards the end. It seems the 20 pound shock is way too much and the three or five pound shock, whatever that one is, is way too little. This is not as impressive as I felt it was, but <laughs> proof, proof, proof of concept. Cool as a proof of concept. I don't think we've explained to people very well what our intentions are, that the idea is not to live full time in our trailer. No. The idea is that we can transfer quickly and easily between. So, so we wanted something that could easily go from the trailer to a hotel. So we're not like grabbing single things or bags or just handfuls of things. So then we take that out and then pretend there is a suitcase on the floor right there. Go ahead and drop it down on the floor. You squash that down. And close it's got, it up. It's got little cinches on the side. You can hang it in a closet, hang it on the back of a door, or hang it back in our couch dresser. Mike has actually been using his here at the house. This was also an important test because these are, this is the exact dimension that would be one third of our couch. And this is much smaller than a normal third of a couch cushion but I wanted it smaller so that when you flip down the dining room table, you can still spin this way when this one pulls out and you have a nice backrest, so. Fabulous test overall for this prototype in more ways than one. Got to use the Ron Falk workbench, A plus on that. I'm very excited to implement that into the mobile wood shop. And let's check our dust collector. Ooh. Not too bad. But the real test is how much made it in. Oh, I didn't clean this out before, so that doesn't help. But there's no sawdust in there. None. So, 
I don't know if this is worth $100, but it did work. Thanks for watching!